Right, hello again. Um, just a, a, a quick update, really. We've added a couple of things to um, to the new uh, iOS Orbiter, and, um, and and these features will be in um, uh, any Orbiter that you um, that you choose to build around um, the new uh, Proxy Orbiter, um, or at least the feature will be there if you want to implement it. Um, so if I go ahead and launch. The, um, the orbiter again as before this one's running the uh, the Dynamo skin um, and, uh, and and you may see something a little bit different when you uh, when you run your orbiters um, if I swipe up and bring up the little panel at the bottom the, uh, the panel bar uh, tab bar sorry um, unfortunately the camera that I'm filming this on is a little bit bad when I get up close so it's not Best. Uh, I've got a little bit of a reflection there. Let's try and move that over there. Right. Um, you may notice um, that there's a new icon at the um, right hand end of the bar there. Um, and you probably can't read it in this video, so I'm going to tell you it, it says cameras. And that plums into um, our K Motion integration um, or any uh, kind of camera integration that. that, that that uh, might be in uh, Linux, Linux MCE, and it uses um, it uses a web interface and integrates uh, a web the, the iOS web integration um, uh, with the button uh, with the tab bar. So if I go ahead and um, and touch that, you'll see that we go into the camera viewer and it pulls up a web page. Um, in the application, so this is uh, a WebKit window running in in the uh, iOS Orbiter um, itself. Not, not, it's not launching it separately; it's running it internally. And you may be able to see that there's um, there's we've got three cameras on the system currently here. And if I touch one of those cameras, um, we we pull that up now. I'm demoing this, I should say also, I'm demoing this, um, I'm going out of our network, coming over a broadband connection and coming back in. So this is a demonstration of remote access. In fact, as far as the system is concerned, I'm sitting outside the, the network, I'm somewhere else and I'm using the orbiter you know, from my office or from a holiday home or somewhere away from the house and I'm using that to, uh, to view my cameras. This is the live view of the cameras. If I scroll the um, page up, I've got some other views down the right hand side. Um, and the one I want to show you is the archive view. Um, again, you'll have to excuse the way I'm controlling this because it's very difficult to hold the camera and do this at the same time. So here we've got, um, in fact, we've got Radu um, uh, working very late last night on, on this code. <laughs> and. Um, uh, you, you can see somebody moving it. You can see that the frame rate's quite slow, but it is um, uh, real time in, in the sense that we're getting frames live from the from the server. So I'm playing back a, um, a K Motion um, movie essentially of some activity that the motion detection triggered and recorded um, here very very late last night. Okay, so if I take you back to the orbiter now, just touch the orbiter and you notice when I touch that orbiter bar, a uh, tab on the bar, uh, the bar automatically disappears and now we're left um, in the orbiter and we can do anything we want with this orbiter, we can go to audio um, and uh, again we're coming over the uh, broadband connection now so you notice it's a little bit less snappy than it was in the last demo um, and you notice the, um, the cover art came in a little bit slower, again it's just the remote connection um, and, and its speed. Um, I'm going to go back to the home screen again and um, I'll pull up the bar. The bar slides up and if we go back to the camera view again you'll notice there that momentarily we see the previous view and now we're back to the to the, essentially the home screen of the camera viewer. Um, that's the way we've implemented it at the moment because otherwise um, you could leave the cameras running in a weird state and on a remote connection that may not be a good idea. 
we're kind of reviewing how that works at the moment but that's how it works in this current release this feature is going to be in the 2.1 release which I hope we'll, we will get out to Apple today um, and I hope that by Friday we will have um, the QT code base um, updated with this with this feature and uh, and that we'll be able to release it to you guys so you can have a go uh, building some apps and some code with it okay that's all I've got today um, hope you enjoyed it see you soon bye